Hi everyone, how are you going? I'm Ollie Roberts, co-founder and director at Pasture.io. What is Pasture.io? It's a remote pasture measuring and farm management tool that uses the latest technology when it comes to grazing management and satellite pasture measuring. But today I'm not here to talk to you about Pasture.io and what Pasture.io can do for you. Today, I'm here to talk to you about warm season grasses. More exactly, I'm here to talk to you about three of the best, quite widely used warm season grasses and their very specific and unique characteristics. They're also quite similar though. Why are we talking about warm season grasses? It's summertime and you need to know if the grass you have sowed in late spring was the right choice for your farm or what other grass choice you could have made this year and might be your preferred choice for next year. So let's get right to it. And no, we're not going to discuss the very common and heard of Bermuda grass and crabgrass. We're going to look at Paspalum, Rhodes grass and Console Love grass. Before I speak about each of these types of warm season perennial grasses individually, I want to talk to you a bit about them in general. And not only any kind of warm season grasses, but perennial season grasses. First of all, these types of grasses compared also to cool season grasses have much higher growth rates during warmer months, which is fantastic for your pasture production and biomass production for cattle and in the end, obviously for your farm's profit. Warm season grasses have a wide range of advantages. They can limit nutrient escape into underground water sources, can help with weed control management and can raise the number of microorganisms in your soil. They can also help with your soil structure, pasture composition and fertility, as well as help you to produce more pasture biomass. Only the action of reseeding your soil has an incredible advantage, not to mention reseeding during spring with warm season grass. Did you know that old and permanent pasture is up to 25% less responsive and absorb, absorptive, absorptive of nutrients in the soil, excuse me, uh, comparing to new grasses, also, reseeded pasture yields on average 8% more animal productivity output per hectare due to the new grasses enhanced feeding value. So greater nutrition down the cow's throat. Yes, that's right. That is 8% more animal output per hectare. And that is just in the case of new reseeded grasses. When you add the benefits that warm season grasses bring, this percentage increases substantially. Now let's get to our first warm season grass, the wonderful Paspalum. Paspalum is truly one of the most popular warm season grasses out of all of them. It's a very light, let's call it, friendly grass that adapts really well to a wide range of environments. Because it's so friendly to so many environments, it's a great fit for most regions climates and soils, but especially to fertile soils. It's a highly resistant plant, successfully combating adverse soil attributes such as salinity, waterlogging, acidity, and different levels of fertility. Paspalum is also very highly tolerant to heavy grazing from your cattle, which however, is not very recommended during summertime when you should be avoiding overgrazing as the lack of moisture can double its negatives and cause compounding effects. But you can definitely overgraze during the autumn, which makes this plant phenomenal during this season. You can also count on Paspalum to survive and thrive in a soil that has a relatively uh, low pH level of 4.5. You can also count on this wonderful plant in times of drought. It's really an all-in wonder plant. It manages to face drought so well due to its really thick rhizomes which gives it strong endurance during drought. Even though it's such a resilient and tolerant plant, it does do its best when it's given certain conditions. For example, it will grow out of expectations when given 23 to 30 de degrees Celsius days and rainfall between 900 to 1300 millimetres annually. If you've chosen Paspalum as your warm season grass this year, well, it's probably a smart choice. That's just grass. If you haven't, you should seriously consider it for next year. 
if and only if its characteristics are the right fit for you, if they don't sound completely right for you and your dairy farm or, or cattle farm, let's go on Let's go on to our second best warm season grass of our video. The lovely Rhodes grass. Rhodes grass is another popular and beloved warm season grass across the globe, not just in Australia or in, in other countries that have similar environments. It comes second best to Paspalum as it's a low to moderate summer growing grass, but no less adaptable to many types of existing soils and soil conditions. What's fantastic about Rhodes grass is its tolerance to salt. Why is this ripper and why is salt tolerance so important? Well, salinity in the soil is only one of the biggest causes in Australia of low grass productivity and environmental damage. However, with a grass that is tremendously tolerant to salt, you can successfully fight back on low grass productivity and get a stronger pasture yielding like larger amounts of kilograms of dry matter per hectare per year. So then grasses with low tolerance to salt. Rhodes grass is also the right choice to choose as a warm season grass if you need some erosion control and, and reduce nutrient runoff, you know, or and or soil loss. It's 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 also a plant that is easy to establish with an establishment range of 70 to 140 plants per meter squared. It's easily established and works well with many types of soils, ranging from light textured ones to more heavy textured ones. Our second best warm season perennial grass will thrive in regions and periods with rainfall between 700 and 1200 millimeters annually. As for temperature, it loves to be in temperature between 16 and a half degrees to above 26 degrees. This grass of African origin was surely a smart choice if you've picked it for this year. If not, just as in the case of Paspalum, it's definitely a worthwhile option for next year. Do not forget about it, that's for sure. And we have reached our last and third best perennial warm season grass, Console Love Grass. How can you not fall in love with this grass just by hearing its name? Console Love Grass, our third perennial warm season grass is without a doubt another beneficial grass during the months of spring and summer. If you have a light textured soil, console love grass is going to feel right at home in, in your soil. However, if you have a heavier textured soil, you are not going to give a comfortable home to console love grass. And it's simply not going to produce as much biomass as it would be in, light tech, in a light textured one. Keep this in mind from the get-go. It does love sands as much as it loves loams though. So console lovegrass, similar to our other warm season grasses, does very well in acidic soils. It can thrive and produce high amounts of kilograms of dry matter per hectare in soils with a pH level as low as 4.1. It rather likes water and rainfall. And if you are getting medium amounts of rainfall, it's a proven fact that you can end up on average with a grass yield, uh, you know, in a, in a dry year of more than 6,000 kilos of dry matter per hectare. So like that number, so do I. What else is good about console love grass? So many things that I don't have enough time to tell you all, tell you all to you, but I can tell you that it's very easily established in soil and very resilient withstanding even extremely dry summer periods. It's so resilient that it's recommended you plant this grass in infertile and sandy textured soils in regions with low amounts of rainfall. This plant was made for rough and hard environments. Console love grass is considered the more economically friendly option to lucerne and despite being a cheaper option, it offers a better establishment range and is easier to manage. Here I want to tell you how important pasture management is and how our pasture.io tool can make your life so much easier. So stress-free and richer than you can possibly imagine. It's also leaps and bounds ahead of any other pasture management tool. And I wouldn't be just standing here saying that. So anyway, to get back to warm season grasses, if you're grazing your cattle on console love grass this summer, good on you. Hopefully it was the right pick for your soil 
region, cattle, and your, your farm, whether dairy farm or cattle farm. If you have not sowed it, definitely consider it for next year. That was it, folks. Our three best warm season grasses, easy as. These grasses really do bring many benefits once sowed and grown. They are a great option for seeding or reseeding your pasture. So hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have, give it a like or a share, and I'd love to see your comments and answer them below. So for now, happy farming, everyone. Woo! Bye for now.